Hey guys, it's Kyle from Power Apps here, and today it's about segment control. Um, actually, it's the same day we've had like four tutorials or three tutorials or something. Um, I don't know how many it was, but I hope you guys like the uh, little song intro. I think I might play these. Yes, these are my songs. I made them myself. Uh, here, I'll give you a little uh, thing here. That's the first one. And that second one, it's actually for my app, iPoke, that I'm making. Uh, you guys should see it on the App Store pretty soon. I'm still in development. I have amazing features that are coming. So watch out for that, guys. It should be shipping, shipping. should be going on iDevices somewhere, actually, I think in a while. So January or February, around that area. Anyway, back to the topic. Segment control. Let's get into it. So first, open up Xcode, obviously. And create a new project. Make sure it is a single view application. And we're going to call it seg. Segment control. As always, I will be using the iPhone as the device, and I will not be no. Lo I will no longer be using uh, storyboards just because I actually like the XIB files. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, anyway, save this to the desktop for easy access. And first things first, let's go straight into the .h file. After that goes all slow and then it'll go a little bit faster. But first thing you want to do is open up the brackety thing and write IB outlet UI label star and we're going to call this label and then a semicolon. Uh, select enter and then write IB outlet again then write hold on let me just check something here Yep. So IB outlet, then UI segment control star segment control. Er. <laughs> that was a pretty intense uh, pause there, and then also a uh, semicolon. After that, uh, enter twice after the closing bracket and write IB action, sele uh, the selector, uh, colon, I d brackets, ID action, and then the sender. And we're going to call it uh, segment, whoops, segment control. And of course, the semicolon. So next we have to go into the uh, .m file, two enters after the implementation, write IB action, segment control should automatically pop up, just get rid of that part there, open up the brackety thing and close them. Inside here write if, open up a bracket and write segment controller dot segment control style no sorry seg selected <laughs> okay obviously I cannot uh, type today um, segment controller dot selected segment index two equal signs then a zero close off the bracket and open up a brackety thing I am really making this like new friendly. <laughs> new B, sorry. Uh, write label dot text equals the at sign and open up two quotations. And of course, close with a semicolon. Inside the quotations, I'm going to write first label. Whoops.
and so that we have two segments uh, just after the second um, second closing the first set oh my goodness the first closing bracket you want to write the same thing again only with the number one so let me just type this in here So it's the same thing, only we're just going to write second label, which the label will change from first to second when you select it. Now this is all about changing a label, label with a segment control, which I, mostly what they're used for. Sometimes they're used for different. Actually, a lot of times they're used for different. So next we just have to go connect everything. So uh, click the view and go to attributes, change the size to 3.5, keep the orientation portrait. And I'm, we're going to get rid of the status bar for now. Next, let's drag in a label. Center it right there. Make it a little bit bigger. And in the label, let's change this to the center button so it's uh, b uh, better looking. Next, scroll down until you see segment control, which is I passed segment control guys see it I'm gonna get a ton of laughs this is pretty funny I'm blind there it is wow that's that's horrible so I, I look at that it already says first and uh, second there so next let's actually change that to border uh, yeah, boarded. I like that. Um, now, now you have to make sure the first and the second both say first and second. Um, just for the tutorial. Next, go to Files Owner. Drag the label outlet to the label. Segment controller to the segment control. And then the segment control action. And then. Uh, drop that and make sure it says value change that is like so important it won't work if you don't have value changed um, after you have that done we can go ahead and run this in the simulator actually I'll keep this guys for you guys to see uh, connections and as we're waiting for the simulator to open please subscribe uh, for all the videos and upcoming videos it by the way it's not all about Xcode tutorials now. It is a ton of stuff. Like there's Chrome extensions. I'm doing a seg a segment on that, and there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff for your phone, like jailbreak stuff. I'm gonna get start getting into that, but I'll be still I'll still be doing these. So there's our simulator with our view. There's our view, um, and there's our label, and our first and second. Um, if you don't want that label to automatically pop up and you just want to have it as uh, blank, you can do that also. Just delete label, of course. So, and yeah, there you go. It's nothing. So once I click second, there's the second label, and there's the first label. So you can change that to whatever you guys want, and you can have as many segments as you want. So say we had the segment set to, I don't know, move out of the way. Let's say we had five, and I'm just going to write one, then we select here two, then the select the second one, three, select the third one, four, select the fifth, sorry, yes, the fifth one, and write that in, never actually was writing them, I guess. Yeah, obviously I'm not writing them. Four. So there's our segment. So if we actually want to have five, 
you can just uh, copy this here, write again, write again, write again, one, two, three, four, five, and then you have to actually change these number values to the corresponding one. So five, four, three, no, sorry, zero, one, two, three, four. And that corresponds to that. And we can just change this one to third. And forgot the bracket. I mean, forgot the uh, quotations there. And then fourth and fifth. Of course, we have to capitalize that. And now it will automatically do that. So let's just go ahead and run this in the simulator. And of course, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So that's how you make a segment, segment control, guys. I hope you liked the tutorial. Um, I'll just put the code, all the code here if you want to uh, view that right now so just pause the video if you want to copy down the code without downloading the source uh, actual source code um, yes we have the label there I hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe for all my future and present videos and past videos and also if you have any video suggestions please leave them in the comments section below or you can Skype me at Kyle Greenlaw or this is brand new I now have Facebook for Cairo Apps. It's a like page, so just search it up on Facebook. Um, now, I do have a person for that, so make sure it's the page and not the uh, person. I decline all requests, so if I get a request, I'm just going to decline it because you guys need to like the page if you want to uh, be able to post. So, that's amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.